Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm Stella Chung, and in today's fix, you might be able to get a PS5 after all. A major Assassin's Creed character could be coming to Valhalla, and Ghost of Tsushima Legends announces a standalone version and a new mode. <laughs> During an earnings webcast, Sony CFO Hiroki Totoki explained that the company had taken various measures in order to secure semiconductors and has seemingly been successful. He went on to explain that they had secured the number of chips necessary to achieve their goal for units to be sold this year. Sony has previously said that its target was to sell 14.8 million PS5s during April 2021 to March 2022. After selling 2.3 million units in Q1, that leaves it with about 12.5 million more units to make and sell this year. Reaching that target would leave the company having sold 22.6 million units since launch. Coincidentally, Sony wants to exceed the PS1 sales record of 22.6 million units in a single year during the financial year of 2022. It was only three months ago that Sony was saying it expected PS5 shortages to continue into next year, but it seems that Jim Ryan's promise that the company was trying to increase production is looking good. And hopefully production can now outpace the scalpers that are trying to buy them all up. A major Assassin's Creed character is reportedly coming to Assassin's Creed Valhalla in one of Ubisoft's future DLC expansions for the game. As reported by Eurogamer, news of the major character's supposed return was included in leaked data and dialogue lines unearthed by Assassin's Creed leaker Jonathan. In the past, Jonathan has reliably leaked details about the series. We're about to reveal the character's name and questline in the next second, so if you care about spoilers, please skip ahead. According to the data leak, a number of dialogue lines have been discovered that suggest that Cassandra, the protagonist from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, will meet Ivor during an upcoming quest in the scenic Scottish Isle of Skye. The leaked dialogue lines suggest that Ivor will be told that Rand V, Assassin's Creed Valhalla love interest, has been spotted causing trouble on the Isle of Skye. It seems that Ubisoft could be playing on the fan-held notion that Rand V and Cassandra will have a similar appearance, or at least hairstyle. If that were to play out, Ivor could be met by Cassandra and not Ronby. While this is still just a rumor, Ivor and Cassandra meeting is definitely within the reach of Assassin's Creed lore since Cassandra obtained the magical staff of Hermes, which has kept her young for over 2,000 years. So it's possible that they could end up meeting in the DLC that's set to release sometime in 2022. Developer Sucker Punch Productions has announced that Ghost of Tsushima Legends, the co-op expansion for the single-player Ghost of Tsushima, will be released as a standalone game. Legends will be available standalone for $19.99 on PS5 and PS4, and this will release on September 3rd. This version will be the exact same as the Legends mode that's currently available for owners of the main Ghost of Tsushima game, but will be missing some cosmetics unlocked in the campaign. But it'll include all Legends content released in 2020 as well as upcoming additions. This new content includes the new Legend mode coming later this year called Rivals. In Rivals, two teams of two compete to defeat waves of enemies. Defeated enemies drop Magatama, which can then be used to attack your rival team. Spending Magatama on shades will block your rival team from making purchases while buying curses will drain rivals' health and make bodies explode. Spending enough Magatama triggers the final stand of enemies and defeating them before your rivals will win you the match. It's kind of like Destiny 2's Gambit game mode, but with Samurai. Are you still waiting to get a PS5? Do you think this news will finally signal the end of shortages? Let us know. I'm Stella Chung, and that was your Daily Fix. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our IGN Games channel where we keep you up to date on all gaming news with our podcasts, performance reviews, and more. Download the IGN app for all of your mobile or devices, subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.